So uh, this is the second talk of this morning. It's a pleasure for me to uh, present uh, Virton Pinheiro from Bahia, who uh, is a student also of Charcot, and I think he finished 2000 with him, yes. still working actively with him, writing papers and so on. And uh, well, he will present something different, I guess, which is not related to Charcot, I don't know. No, no. Okay. Oh, well. Uh, which is uh, recurrence and synchronization. Okay. So it's a huge pleasure to me to be here and celebrate uh, the birthday of Jaco. And uh, but uh, I think that for me it's better to talk about uh, Jaco and something like that in the end of the talk because probably I'm going to be emotional and it's going to be hard to proceed if I change the. The order. So, but uh, anyway, it, uh, this uh, this work is not uh, directly related to Jaco, but as many things here in here in Brazil in dynamic systems is related to Jaco words, of course, and uh, so this is, uh, the Congress, and uh, this is a, a classical picture of Jaco. He used this picture many, many times in his talk, and uh, I was attempted to use that. And uh, this, uh, I think, this is uh, this is the pic one, one of the picture uh, relates to with the global conjecture of Jacob. And uh, as the David talking in the uh, ABC uh, meeting two days ago. Uh, no, not that, that. This was uh, Piccioni. And uh, one of the, the impressive things about Jacob is uh, how he can uh, talk about uh, math and convince other people. And I, I look to this picture, I cannot convince anyway, any people about uh, the conjecture scene that, I, I, that are no means to me, but OK. And so, but let's go to the, the global uh, conjecture of Jacob, and uh, I think that everyone here knows about it. There are many uh, statements there, and uh, the first one that uh, in the in the set of all the dynamic system, you can uh, choose something like, a, let me say, the smooth maps of uh, some manifold, and you can. Uh, we can uh, see a, a, a subset of the dynamics that uh, a dense one, okay, in some uh, topology, uh, uh, nice topology. And uh, this dense set has many properties. The first one is a finite number of uh, attractors, okay? And not only attractor, but attractor with uh, some properties. The, the first property is the base of attraction of these attractors uh, contains almost every point. And the second property is that uh, each of these attractors has a, a, a is the sup is it's not clear if is the precise the support of a SRB or contain a, a SRB in its support. But anyway, and uh, so but there are additional properties like uh, stochastic stability, okay, and also because a this set don't mean many things. It's uh, Maybe is a very small set, but uh, another uh, point here is that if you uh, you uh, cross this set with a, a family with k parameters and a generic family, and uh, you are going to see some kind of persistence of the attractors. At least you are going to get a finite number of attractors. That uh, this uh, finite number, the base of attraction. It contains now it's not almost a point, but a, a big portion of the space in the Lebesgue sense. Okay, you can lose some part of the points that you don't know what's going to have, but uh, you have some some sense a past tense of uh, the number of attractors. Okay, and uh, but the the points the the main point here in this talk is about the. Uh, how you can uh, find uh, this uh, 
this uh, dense set did. Indeed, not how to quantify it, but uh, if uh, uh, how you can say that uh, some uh, some dynamics or this one or the other ones may be a candidate to belong to this set. So, of course, uh, many people here think that uh, uh, they don't pr uh, present some hyperbolist in, in some uh, not so precise way, some hyperbolist, and uh, for almost every point, probably is going to belong to uh, this set or this dense set, and uh, f for sure, uh, the, the uniform hyperbolic expanded maps or uniform hyperbolic uh, maps belongs to this, this dense set, this set D, D. and uh, but uh, uh, you expect that if you don't have a, a uniform hyperbolic system, but uh, some uh, a system with uh, some hyperbolicity, uh, probably it's going to belong, and uh, I'm going to talk about this. This uh, problem is related to uh, uh, another conjecture that I'm going to, to talk in a, a, a few moments. And, uh, but to talk about this, uh, this conjecture, the this, this second conjecture, uh, we need to recall, or only, uh, probably to everyone know here, it's uh, the, the, the definition of uh, Lyapunov exponent. And so uh, the Lyapunov exponent, you say that uh, uh, let's see, a dynamic has no zero, in, in the point x here, has no zero Lyapunov exponent if this average, if you get the limit, uh, is uh, different than zero, but as I put the norm here, is bigger than zero. This means that in that point x here, uh, you all uh, Lyapunov exponents are non-zero, okay? So uh, suppose that you have a, a C1, C1 plus, or C2, uh, different things, and uh, in a compact manifold, for instance. And uh, suppose that uh, Lebesgue almost every point satisfies this property. So what you can say about this? This is a kind of hyperbolist, not, now we are not have a uniform hyperbolist, but what you can say about this, and probably this is uh, a candidate to belong to D, at, at least is the Vienna uh, conjecture that I'm going to talk about here uh, is true, okay? So, but uh, uh, let me, uh, uh, the, in the previous case, I'm, I'm, I was talking about uh, C1 diffeomorphism, but uh, to simplify the notation and many things, I'm going to talk, concentrate and uh, in a local, a C1 local diffeomorphism, Okay, and uh, C1 plus, in, in plus uh, alpha, indeed. And uh, yeah, I'm going to talk to positively up another point. So what I say that, uh, suppose that you have a manifold, a compact one, and you have a smooth map, and uh, for Lebesgue almost every point, you have a positively up another exponent. Not that uh, if you, uh, what mean positive Lyapunov exponent, you take any uh, vector in the, the tangent space and uh, iterate it, this is going to be positive. And, uh, but this is equivalent to the, the, this other formula. And uh, so you can recall the, state, uh, the statement of uh, Vionis conjecture. Uh, I put here the two version, the version uh, for uh, the diffeomorphism and the local diffeomorphism here. Okay, you, you can uh, make uh, this conjecture in another, uh, for another example, at least you can say, ah, and if the, the, it's not a local diffeomorphism, but it's a local diffeomorphism almost everywhere and have a, a good critical region, but I'm not going to talk about this because I want to, to talk about the most simple uh, form of the conjecture. So the conjecture is that if you have uh, almost everywhere non-zero Lyapunov exponent, exponent, so you are going to, to get SRB measures, okay? And uh, in, in the case of uh, local diffeomorphisms, you're going to, if you're almost everywhere, the 
the Lyapunov the exponent is all positive, you're going to get a absolutely continuous variant measure that is in particular SRB measure. Okay, and uh, let me go. So, uh, let me uh, connect the Viana's conjecture with the Jacob one. Suppose that uh, you have uh, not only a non-zero Lyapunov expo exponent, but you have a, a bound for zero. So suppose that you have some lambda bigger than zero and the, for almost every point you, you get this, okay? So in this case, the conjecture says that you are going to, is a consequence of the conjecture, you, you are going to uh, get a finite, a finite number of attractors. Each of the, uh, the, the base of attraction of these uh, attractors is going to uh, cover almost every point of the manifold and also that uh, each of these attackers is, is support or is the support of uh, a sorry B measure, okay? So th that is, if this is true, this is at least in some way a candidate to belongs to the dense set of Jacob uh, conjecture. If this is not true, the, the Viennese conjecture is not true, okay, Probably you're, it is not implied that the, the, uh, uh, the global conjecture is wrong, but probably you have to think a, a little bit hard about that but because the people expect that this is true and that maybe this is a candidate. Okay, and so as I told you, uh, to simplify no, the notation, I'm going to concentrate in the in the, the local from Fim's case, okay? And suppose that for Lebega, most every point you have all the Lyapunov exponent positive. Okay, so l let me, uh, this, uh, this conjecture was associated to the, this result of uh, Alves, Bonatti, and Vienna that they, uh, they did not prove, of course, the conjecture, but they, uh, they make some statement that is uh, some, some kind of uh, uh, hyperbolicity, uh, weak hyperbolicity, and, uh, uh, but that's uh, more easy to work with. And uh, so let me uh, explain this formula. Most of you will know this one. But suppose that you are, uh, this manifold is a one dimensional di uh, manifold. In this case, the derivative here, you can consider everything here is only the norm of the derivative along of the orbit, okay? So this is going to be exactly the, okay, let me write here. So in this case, if this uh, is a one dimensional manifold, so this, th that, that formula one is exactly uh, the log. F and prime F is N. Okay, so the uh, if. so in this case, uh, this for the, uh, this is bigger than lambda means that the the Lyapunov exponent exponent in this case we have only one is bigger than zero. This is equivalent, but in, in dimension. Uh, bigger than uh, bigger or equal to, to two, it's not true. So this this uh, hypothesis is more strong is stronger, really strong, more stronger than than the the hypothesis of positive Lyapunov exponent. But anyway, with this hypothesis, this is not uh, uh, equivalent to be uniformly expanding. But with this uh, hypothesis, uh, the authors here. Uh, uh, Prove that um, this is a candidate in some sense to uh, to Jacob global uh, uh, to the dense set of Jacob global uh, conjecture. That is, uh, if you assume this, you ha you can ha you have a finite number of attractors. The base of the, those attractors uh, attracts almost almost every point, and each of these attractors has 
uh, I see a Hebe measure. Indeed, you have more than that. Uh, the, uh, uh, you have some results about uh, uh, stochastic stability, not for uh, uh, every map near this, the, the, this one, but uh, every map with the same prop that's near this one. You have some more uh, properties about this, this kind of uh, uh, maps that, uh, but I'm not going to talk about it now. So, uh, what's the, the main ingredients of the proof of this result of uh, alves bonatti -Viana. The result of alves bonatti -Viana talk also about pastoral hyperbolic system, but uh, as I told you, I'm going to make the simple uh, case, okay, to simplify notation. And uh, so, uh, the, the two main ingredients is the uh, Please lemma that that implies the a positive frequency of uh, hyperbolic time. I'm going to talk about it in a moment. And with this this property that you have a hyperbolic time, you can produce uh, the hyperbolic pre-balls. I'm going to talk about this. This is the two the two ingredients. First, to prove using a please lemma the existence of a positive frequency of this. Uh, this, this thing here that I'm going to talk about. And uh, uh, the second is use this information to produce hyperbolic pre-balls, okay? Um, as I want to, to talk ab uh, in a, a more uh, general context, I'm, I, I, I'm going to recall that uh, we have a cost cycle, uh, this, the, the image is in R, so you can divide in the cost cycle that is a Subadditive, additive, or superadditive. Okay, this is a, it's not important. It's all notation. Okay, and uh, uh, the the additive case is the Birkhoff average. Oh, sorry, it's the Birkhoff sum. Typical. Okay, and uh, so what is please time? Suppose that you have a cost cycle, one of the those three, and uh, suppose that you have a, a gamma here. And uh, you say that a uh, 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 natural number is uh, uh, gamma lambda plus time if you have satisfied this uh, formula for every k between zero and n. This means that uh, you know you say they they have you, uh, what is uh, so you have x f n. So if you have a plus time, you are going to have a good. If you make the average here. You have a, a, a good average here, a good average for the end to come back step by step here. I, I'm not saying that you have a good average between two of this point, but only for the end to come back. Okay, many of you know the uh, hyperbolic time, so this is the hyperbolic times. A hyperbolic time is a particular case of uh, a please time for a cos cycle. Okay? And. Uh, Okay, so the please lemma say that if you have a subadditive, here is important to be subadditive, in particular additive one, you cannot use a, a please time to superadditive cost cycle. And if you have a subadditive cost cycle and you have a good average like that, and limit super, limit if you don't care, so the result that you're going to have positive frequency of please time, look at uh, the u x here, means the set of all, you have to lose a, a bit. You have the average is, is gamma, but the, the please time that you get is half gamma. Have, you have to lose something. But the, the point is that you're, if you, uh, you accept to lose a, a little bit, that, that this is not important indeed, uh, you are going to have a positive frequency of uh, please time. Positive frequency, not only that the average is good, but this kind of uh, backward average is also good. So this is the please lemma. And uh, the hyperbolic time is, is in, in this context, is precise the, sorry, is precise uh, the lambda please time when, when you take uh, uh, the, uh, the, the, the phi like that, okay? 
the, the, the sum of the core normal uh, along the of the orbit. So this is the hyperbolic time. But what is interesting about that, that if you have a, a hyperbolic time like that, N is a hyperbolic time, you can produce pre-balls. Uh, the, the hyperbolic time is an a analytic uh, information, but you have to translate it in a geometric one. And uh, after you translate your geometric one, you can forget the analytic thing and uh, think only about the, uh, the geometric information that is uh, enough to make uh, most of the results associated to it. So what is the, the geometric information? A hyperbolic pre-ball is, OK, now we are, uh, take the, the cross cycle like that. And so if you have, a, suppose that N is a please time for, for, for this cross cycle. And suppose that the, uh, the, uh, the lambda is bigger than 0, like this thing, you're going to say this, the following. Uh, uh, hyperbolic pre ball is for, for a point x. Here you have two constants, a delta, I'm going to talk about. Delta is the radius of this ball, OK? And uh, sigma is the contraction here. So if a uh, 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 hyperbolic pre-ball is a uh, V4 here, is an example, is a hyperbolic pre-ball, because you, if you iterate four times, this is going to be a deform of in between this set and this set. And indeed, if you make it closer, you're going to be a deform of him. And if you look the, the, the map backward, you're going to see a contraction, a contraction with the uh, uh, sigma in it. So the map, this is, a, when you stood a uniform expanded map, this is the inverse branch, the contract inverse branch associate. And, uh, but in the uniform case, you have contraction in every step. And in this case, the contraction is for the end to com come back like that. OK, so the point is a uh, result of the Alves Bonitivian is that uh, if you have a lambda bigger than zero and there, is a, there exists a delta, this delta does not depend of the points and uh, of the, the iterate, and uh, such that uh, every time, every moment, every end that you have a hyperbolic time for x, this is going to produce associate to it, for, for instance, 10 or 4, like in the picture, uh, is a hyp uh, hyperbolic time, you're going to produce a hyperbolic uh, uh, pre-ball with some universal delta and the contraction like, like that. So uh, hyperbolic time, a hyperbolic time implies in hyperbolic pre-ball of the, the uh, a hyperbolic time in, in a hyperbolic time imply a hyperbolic pre-ball with uh, uh, order n. Okay, so, so what's the difference between uh, this, assuming this or assuming that? This is the alves bonatti hypothesis, the, the non-uniformly expanding hypothesis, and this is a positively Aponov exponent hypothesis. Okay, so uh, if you consider uh, this, okay, this uh, big of, uh, so here, this is an additive cross cycle, and this one is a super additive cross cycle. So, but you cannot apply, as I told you, uh, the please lemma for this. So you cannot get positive frequency of uh, hyperbolic something like that. Positive frequency of uh, uh, please time for this kind of cross cycle. Uh, uh, but for this one, yes, but for this, no. And this is the main problem here. Indeed. And uh, so let me state some facts. The first one is the, the please lemma, I told you. The please lemma imply the positive frequency of a, a, a please time, hyperbolic time, say, uh, whenever you have this hypothesis. OK, this is the, let's, ah, here, I put here. OK, this hypothesis, the average. And but the, the please time does not imply Okay, if you have a, uh, this uh, 
this kind of hypothesis does not, does not imply the positive frequency of uh, average of please time to associate to this. But on the other hand, uh, uh, what is really important to construct the, the pre balls is not this uh, property, but this one. That is, if you have, you cannot use please time to, to get uh, uh, this kind of please time. You cannot use please lemma to get this kind of please time, but to produce uh, a hyperbol hyperbolic uh, pre balls, the, 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 this kind of please time is enough. This is not obvious. And uh, this is not in general, but in the context that you can use, uh, you can prove that, okay? And so, uh, l let me recall that uh, in, in the ABV uh, result, uh, they assume that this is, uh, the average of, of this is positive. Of course, this is going to imply this condition. And he used this condition and also, and also information about this one to, spread to around the, the point, uh, near the point X, the, the information that this, is, okay, by continuity, you can think that if you take a, 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 some point near X, you're going to give, get this, uh, this sum also big, okay? And use these two information to produce uh, the geometric one. And, uh, okay, let me, Okay, uh, I told it uh, that, let's go around, let me see, okay. And uh, okay, uh, uh, so the problem uh, is the following. Uh, we, ha we have, uh, you cannot use please time to produce, a, a please lemma to produce please time to, to a positive Lyapunov exponent hypothesis. Okay, but uh, so, but uh, maybe you can change a little bit the, the problem. And uh, if you consider this kind of uh, system, you consider a skew product like that, and uh, this new uh, cost cycle here, this is going to be a cost cycle for the capital F here, and this is going to be a, a additive cost cycle. So you can apply for this the, the please time, the, the please lemma, okay? and get positive, given x and v, you can get positive frequency of uh, 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 please time or hyperbolic time in the, in the direction v, okay? But the problem is for uh, given a, x, a, give a, a point x and a, a direction, you have some, you say, ah, this is going to be the, the hyperbolic time is in this direction. But you take a, another, another direction, you, the hyperbolic time is not the same. And the problem is uh, you can get simultaneous hyperbolic time. If you get sim simultaneous hyperbolic time, then you can produce, uh, uh, it's, it's true, you can prove it, then you can produce uh, hyperbolic pre-balls. So the point is to synchronize these uh, please time is in main directions. Okay, but I, I, I don't, like to work with this kind of model. The other one, it's, this is a, only a notation, give a, 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 a collection of uh, vectors here, uh, M vector. You can produce these vectors, of course. It's, it's only to introduce a notation. And so what uh, I prefer to work in this way because it's a finite number of, uh, uh, of cost cycle that you are going to try to synchronize. And suppose that you have uh, a, the M here is the, the dimension of the, the manifold. Suppose that you have any uh, invariant uh, vector field, M, and uh, you can normalize it, assume that it's normalized. This is going to be, uh, this is assume that it's a base. And also we assume that you have uh, the angle between two of these uh, 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 fields is bounded. So you can uh, control very well the, the things here. And in this case, you only have to deal with a finite number, M in this case, 
number of uh, additive cost cycle. If you define this, it's additive cost cycle. Of course, you can say, ah, but uh, this is a hypothesis, very strange, blah, blah. but indeed, in the context, you can apply this. It's not M vector, it's a, uh, uh, but, uh, okay, I'm not, I don't have time here to explain, but this is thinking like a model. Okay, and so, uh, suppose the, the, that you have, uh, for almost every point, uh, positive Lyapunov expo exponent. So in this case, this means that this, uh, the limb symbol of this average is going to be bigger than some uh, lambda. Suppose that uh, it's bigger than some lambda, like in the context of uh, that. I want to imply this, uh, something to Jacob conjecture, so assume that. And uh, let uh, uj be the set of all, uh, like as you are taking that, you have to lose something. You suppose that this is the set of all uh, please time, okay, associated to J, okay, to this uh, cost cycle. And uh, you have two questions now. First, can we synchronize this, uh, this uh, please time? That is, uh, there are N bit that belong, I this you have an intersection that in belongs to all this please time, okay, the first. And if you have that, can you produce hyperbolic preball? And so the first step, if you have this intersection, can you produce hyperbolic uh, uh, preball? And the second is, is po it's possible to synchronize? Okay. L uh, recall that we need this, this synchronization to be in a positive frequency. Okay. So the, the first uh, question, the, the answer is yes. And you can prove, not trivial, but you can prove that. And the second question is far more complicated and uh, is the, the, the heart of the, the problem. And uh, so I, I'm going to talk about uh, synchronization of events. Uh, if, if you have a, a please time, you can, you can think like a, a schedule in the, in the future. No, you have a, a natural, the iterates and say, okay, this is the iterator. I'm going to draw this because I'm going to use several times. This is the, uh, represents the iterate of a, a point X. And you will say, ah, in this moment, you have a please time. In this moment also, and in this moment also, you can, so you associate to the, uh, the, the future of X number, in this case, one, two, three, and uh, four, five, X, et cetera. So you can uh, think, uh, like that, you can take the, 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 the set of subset of the natural, that is the power set of N, and uh, natural, uh, natural number, and you can put a metric with this metric, this, this uh, set is uh, homeomorph to the shift, okay, in a trivial way, okay. And now I schedule of events, it's a, only a measurable map for your manifold to this, this set, okay? So for every, this, this may be the empty set because it's a subset of this, okay? So, but uh, I event is called a coherent if satisfies these two properties. The second one is a concatenation property that uh, suppose that uh, uh, this, suppose that this I'm going to represent here is a please time for x. And suppose that, uh, so here you have f in x, and suppose that you have another arc, th this, this, this is a please time for f in. So you're going to say this is a concatenation that this is going, this two key is going to be a, uh, 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 an element of the schedule for, for x. So, and uh, the first condition, it's a, a, a very natural one. The, the both conditions associate to uh, hyperbolic times and play time. The first condition is a natural one that, that uh, you say, if you go to a, a V-dent or something like that, and uh, uh, the V-dent today say that uh, in, in 10 days, you're going to win a lottery or something like that, okay? 
this is a good thing. So, but uh, uh, if this this v density coherence, the this tomorrow if you go there, and uh, uh, the v density are going to say, okay, so in nine days you are going to win because it's <laughs> otherwise this is not going to be a coherent. So a schedule of uh, event is coherent to satisfy this kind of property, these two properties, contamination and this coherence. Okay, for, uh, is, uh, there are uh, many ways to produce this kind of uh, current event, and uh, in particular, you can use uh, uh, please, uh, uh, please time is in uh, please lemma to produce a lot of this, but there are many other ways. For instance, if you intersect two current events, it's a, co a current event. If you make, uh, there are a lot of uh, operations that you can do that to produce new zone. Okay. Uh, give any super additive that we are interested in, cost cycle, and you, cons uh, uh, you can consider uh, Ux the, the set of all please time, lambda please time for x. This is, is indeed a coherent uh, schedule of event. If it's super additive, it's not true. Super additive is true. Okay. Uh, so this all notation, they are upper density in, in a subset of the natural. It's uh, the upper density, the lower density, and the density when you have this. This is all notation. It's uh, natural. I have to be first. And so uh, you say that you can synchronize to the events. Here, I'm, I'm not. Uh, I'm, I'm, I need to be a, a little bit more flexible. Flexible. The, the idea is, uh, it's not important. Uh, suppose that you have some, some uh, props, dynamical props, most of the dynamic props have some continuity. And uh, if you know that something is going to happen in 10 terates, you can uh, say, ah, okay, uh, if in 90 terates, I can use in that, that, the, that information to say something about what is happening in 19 terates or in 11. So you can use the information for some uh, some to spread a little bit in, around it, but if you use a finite number of time, so the point here uh, you are allowed to to not to be uh, if you if you take l zero, this is a precise synchronization, but you are allowed to have uh, some flexibility, but the, the flexibility the l must be fixed or bounded, okay. So this is going to be the definition of uh, synchronized. So in this case, uh, but you have also to have positive friction of this synchronization here. And uh, 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 of course, it's uh, important to, to say that uh, uh, in general, you cannot synchronize things. And they, they, this example is very easy. You take like that. Uh, as I told you, you have equivalence. You, you may, uh, it's equivalent to, to the shift is equivalent to this uh, subset of the natural. So you can produce uh, uh, a schedule like that. You okay? And this one. And if you try, let me uh, do a like go. If you try to uh, trans. Uh, Make a translation of one set and, and try to see the intersection. Okay, uh, in this case, you have you don't have a synchronized synchronization for n l, but the density of both sets here is uh, one half. So this is a, let me give a, you a, a a dynamic example. This is a De Boyan I. And uh, you have this kind of connection here. This is a flow in two dimensional. Many of you know that. And uh, suppose that you consider uh, two balls around the, this saddle here, okay? The dynamic here, all points go into uh, spiralized like that. And uh, suppose that uh, you consider the, the take a uh, x here and uh, let J, uh, let uh, Ux be the, the, the moments that the, the points go inside this blue uh, ball, and V is going is the moments of the, that points go inside the red one. So it's easy to prove that this uh, 
this is the first entrance uh, map to a, a set. It's a coherent, produce a coherent uh, first entry to a set. It produces a coherent uh, schedule of uh, events. In, in this case, you have positive uh, density here, here also, and uh, the sum of this is one. But in this case also, you don't have synchronization. The, the reason it's clear here, because you going to be, uh, when the time goes uh, bigger and bigger, you're going to be uh, very close to the saddle, so you're going to spend a lot of time here, so you're going to spend a lot of time to go to this, to, to this ball, to this one, so you cannot go in a, a, L, a fixed L of time here. So you cannot synchronize this to the event. So, so okay. you mean that you cannot fix, even you cannot go sublinearly. Maybe you, you permit that it is not bounded. L, L can be maybe not bounded also in your net. Probably no, but if, if, if sublinearly. No, but uh, the, uh, maybe, maybe. Yes, if you take the 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 argon right. value in the right way, yes, okay. So, but uh, so, but look that every point here in, in, in inside the the eye here, the this uh, point here is not a a, a recurrent point. So, uh, the uh, but uh, so, uh, okay. So, but this is a. a, a Bad example, the, the, the example that you cannot uh, make the synchronization, but you have, we have a result that say, if you, you are in the, in the presence of an a invariant measure, a ergodic one, you can synchronize any event, okay? Any amount of events. In, in this case, uh, the, the first reason about that is that uh, by a Poincaré result, you have a recurrence, okay? But, uh, okay, so using this, this uh, result, we, we can uh, say, can translate, uh, make a equivalent with the Viana's conjecture. It, so the result is, uh, suppose that uh, almost every point has only positive Lyapunov exponents. So F admits absolutely continuous variant geometry, if and on, if you can synchronize the please time in the direction. So in some sense, you have to, deal with the synchronization of please time in some moment, or deal with an equivalent problem of it. And uh, okay, you can use this to give an example, but I don't have uh, time for that, but this is interesting. Okay, so I want to, to talk about recurrence and synchronization. I'm, uh, go, I'm, I want to mention, uh, Stefano is, was, uh, is not going, probably he, he was, uh, intend to give a talk in, in the IDAE about this uh, result? <laughs> yes, okay. <laughs> okay. No, but uh, I only mentioned, so, uh, okay, the result of them, of uh, Lusato and co-author here, the, uh, is uh, in two dimension, a smooth map and a compact surface, okay? And they have some uh, properties of uh, regularity in points associated to Ocella uh, theorem. And, and also a uh, property of recurrence to some, some uh, box, a uh, particular box that constructs. And so if uh, a positive set of points was recurrent to this special set, they can prove that uh, you have a SRB whenever you have positively upon another exponent for almost every point. So the recurrence come back here to, to uh, uh, conclude the Viana's conjecture. So let me give two, uh, I'm, I'm almost finished. Let me give two definition. This is obvious, uh, this is a, give you a set. This is the, 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 the average of time that a, a point uh, spend in a set in, in a, the upper average of time, okay? And uh, so you say that uh, a, a, a set is Lebesgue, Lebesgue recurrent for, with respect to F. If uh, first, 
the set must have a positive uh, measure. And uh, for almost every point, so let me draw. And uh, you, ha you say that you have a Lebesgue recurrence if you take any uh, subset here inside. And for almost every point that you get in, in this, this uh, subset, they have to uh, have recurrence to the set uh, in that way. So this is going to, if I've said for every subset has this kind of recurrence, we are, we are going to say that this set is a Lebesgue recurrence set. So, but uh, suppose that uh, uh, you have, this lemma say that, suppose that a, a map F does not admit a recurrence subset. Does not admit. What you can conclude about that, and conc we can conclude that you have a, a sequence of nest uh, compact set, suppose this is M, so you have a sequence of compact sets that is this, this compact set is, is out the, the, the manifold for, in the Lebesgue point of view, okay? And what happens is for almost every point in M, you're going to see that the, the, the point, if you take any of this compact, this big compact set, take any, X here, they are going to not spend time in average in the set. So in some sense, every point is going to try to escape. It does not escape uh, to infinite because, but uh, something like that, okay? Of course, if you have this kind of property, okay, you cannot uh, have a absolutely continuous invariant measure. So the consequence, uh, it is, uh, you can say, you can prove that uh, uh, the following. Suppose that you, you are in the context of uh, Vienna's conjecture. Suppose that Lebesgue almost every point has positive uh, Lyapunov exponent. So then ha you, you get a absolute continuum invariant measure if and only if F admits at least one uh, Lebesgue recurrence set. So, of course, that you can translate this to uh, Jacob in the context of Jacob's conjecture. That uh, uh, again, if you have positive Lyapunov exponent, either F does not admit the recurrence uh, set, or you can split the the phase space in a uh, finite number of bases of attractors or finite number of attractors. In each of these attractors, you have a ICRB measure. Uh, in, the, the, in this context, absolute continuous. Uh, to prove this, you, you have to introduce, I have to introduce the domain truth, but I not have time to do that. And also because uh, the, I think that the most beautiful domes are in Italy, and uh, in some sense, uh, Italy is forbidden now to, to exchange information in people. And so, I'm, uh, thank you. But I'm going to talk a little bit about Jacob now. Let me try to... Uh, okay, and uh, I think that uh, I'm going to talk in Portuguese. Uh, uh, okay, so então, é, para mim é um prazer enorme estar aqui. Eu, 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 eu participei da, dos 60 anos de Jacó, dos 70 anos, dos 80 anos. Espero a próxima comemoração de década. E é, o, o Jacó teve, uh, para todo mundo aqui, para muito mais, eu acho que essa, a conferência, inclusive, teve um, essa coisa do coronavírus, né? deu um embaque aqui forte em tudo aqui. O Jacó teve um impacto, como todo mundo sabe, enorme na matemática brasileira, aí foi na matemática em geral, pronto. E teve um impacto enorme nos sistemas dinâmicos da América Latina e na área de sistemas dinâmicos em geral. É difícil a gente conhecer uma pessoa que pode representar uma escola, uma escola de uma área. Então, assim, é um representante de escola da área. E é, eu achei bem bacana várias coisas que as pessoas falaram aqui. E, e o engraçado é que cada pessoa tem uma visão diferente, cada um é, tem um cara burocrático que conta isso, tem um cara, o, o físico que conta aquilo, cada um tem uma visão particular da, da contribuição de Jacó. 
É, então, eu queria comentar um pouco essas daí, um pouco isso. É, primeiro, a, por exemplo, a, a palestra do, do Labar, que eu achei muito boa, mas é um pouco depressiva, no final das contas, porque a gente diz, poxa, um cara consegue fazer tanta coisa assim, a gente... Tipo, é, como uma pessoa consegue lidar tanto com tanta coisa, a gente se sente... É, uma coisa que eu achei bacana da, da palestra do Arthur, é, que é uma coisa muito interessante de Jacó, que é uma espécie de arte, e ele, o Arthur chamou a atenção, é que é de, de olhar o problema, e eu já vi isso muitas vezes acontecendo quando, com, com colegas, comigo, com todo mundo, a gente está trabalhando naquela coisa específica, não está nem entendendo direito aquela coisa assim. Aí já falou, não, mas isso está relacionado com esse problema, que está relacionado com esse problema, que tem a ver com isso. Ele põe aquilo em um contexto global, que, poxa, você sai daquilo ali, poxa, então eu estou trabalhando um problema importante que tem a ver com um monte de coisa. Você sabe? Ele consegue fazer essa coisa de puxar e, e globalizar. Não é, não é, não é por... Não é, por coincidência, que uma das contribuições fortes, além da matemática, da, da política, da, 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 foi a questão das conjecturas. Então, não é fácil fazer conjecturas razoáveis, ou boas, ou fortes. Tem que ter uma certa... E Jacó realmente meio moveu muita coisa com respeito a isso. Outra coisa que eu achei muito eu achei interessante na, na palestra do Henrique, em particular, e que eu concordo plenamente, foi a questão de que essa comemoração dos 80 anos de Jacó não é a comemoração com Jacó, de Jacó somente, é a comemoração de toda a comunidade. Jacó, como eu falei, ele representa uma certa área. Então, assim, a, quando a gente está aqui, a gente meio, todo mundo olha para trás, assim, na nossa vida e, e vê. A, a, então, é, é muito bacana estar... Tá, tá... <risos> então, é... Tá, outra coisa que eu queria comentar aqui, ainda não, não falei dos meus comentários, mas estou falando dos outros. Eu, eu gostei muito da, do, do comentário do Ali. E o Ali falou no, na palestra dele, rápido e forte. Eu acho que foi... Um, até Jacó disse, poxa, mas como você está falando alto? É, eu acho que um pouco a, a Ali fez isso, porque para segurar a onda, para poder falar certas coisas, é, tipo, foi como tratou para poder... E ele, e ele falou de uma coisa que ele próprio me disse depois, que, que ele estava meio receoso de falar, e que é uma das características mais bonitas que eu acho de Jacó. Então, é a generosidade e, a, e, a, e o jeito de falar as coisas. Então, é, eu vou... Desculpe aí, Ali, eu vou fazer uma revisão aqui do que você falou, talvez chamando até atenção. Então, é, o, o, o Ali tinha ficado... Mais alto? Mais alto. <risos> ah, exatamente, é exato, a metodologia. Então, então o, que, né, lá no Irã, então, tinha o, 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 eles estavam sem saber se montavam um mestrado, pelo que, um doutorado, pelo que eu entendi, e é, o, o Jacó foi lá, e Jacó poderia ter falado muita coisa, poderia ter incentivado de 500 maneiras, feito discurso, falado, não, vamos para frente, não sei o que lá, que muitas vezes ele faz, mas ele falou a coisa de maneira super esperta. E não só foi super esperta, como foi é, de um jeito que a maior parte das pessoas não fazem por, não diria arrogância, mas por proud, por... Então, o, o, qual foi a estratégia do Jacó? Ele disse, é, poxa, mas as suas teses de doutorado, o meu programa é muito bom, primeiro ele enfatizou isso, o programa é excelente, uma qualidade muito grande. Mas suas teses de mestrado, na verdade, eu olho assim e parece melhor do que as nossas de doutorado. Precisa um cara ter uma confiança muito grande e não ter problema com orgulho para dizer isso. Mas o impacto disso é violento, porque você não tentou bajular, convencer com palavras. Você diz alguma coisa que, se for é verdade ou não, não importa. Mas é, 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 justamente era aquilo que as pessoas precisavam ouvir para se mover. É, é, é perfeito a atitude dele e é, é, é não só é poderosa, é perfeito. E eu, eu presenciei coisas como essa também. Então, eu vou falar agora uma, uma minha experiência. Eu não vou falar detalhes, porque eu não quero falar detalhes sobre isso, mas vou falar o espírito, é muito dentro do espírito do Ali. É, em Trieste, estava uma, uma reunião do Mion, naquela reunião, sabe? Final de tarde, não sei o que lá, na, no restaurante Mion, aquela coisa tinha uma mesa lá, 
e alguns matemáticos, até, tinha o um Jacó, o e outros matemáticos importantes. E aí tinha um aluno lá que ah, não sabia o negócio do doutorado, estava com dificuldades e tal, estava pensando em desistir ou não, não continuar e tal. E Jacó virou e, e, e disse, não, mas eu te peço, eu te imploro para que continue. Para que você, é, é importante, não sei o que lá. Tinha um outro matemático do lado, um matemático importante, e um matemático... Mas, Jacó, que absurdo! Você implorando para um aluno? E Jacó disse, para mim não me custa nada. Qual o significado disso? E, e qual, eu vou, vou ser menos o quê sobre isso? Então... Jacó pagou um, um esporro para o matemático, e era um matemático importante, dizendo... E, e, bom, eu fiquei super espantado na época. E algum tempo depois eu encontro esse aluno e ele termina o doutorado. E ele disse que foi, aquelas palavras do Jacó foi fundamental para que ele seguisse em frente. Então, eu queria agradecer a Jacó aí por tanto exemplo. Ah, eu nem passei as fotos. Ah, vou fazer igual o Zezé, passar as fotos rapidinho, assim, como é? <risos> Foi muito, então, eu estou falando, estou falando positivo. Então, aí, ó, é, 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 ali é Jacó, no, né? Jacó, lá no ICTP, certo? Aqui é Jacó fazendo palestra lá, na, na verdade, na Bahia. É claro que, como baiano e tudo, eu botei muitas coisas associadas com isso. É, obviamente, cada um dá a contribuição, né? E isso aqui é na Bahia, e aqui Jacó também com a Cat, aqui o Jacó e o Wellington, né? Jacó, Wellington e o Arthur, lá todo contente aqui com... Sempre sorrindo, alguém comentou aqui, foi a, a Cris, comentou da questão do sorriso, Jacó sempre sorrindo. <risos> Bom, Jacó, aqui trabalhando e tal, trabalhando. E Jacó no, no, na, no World Science Forum, que ele conseguiu trazer para cá, que foi o que comentaram lá na ABC, ok? Ah, eu, eu, na verdade, assim, eu tenho mania, então os coautores normalmente não sabem disso. Então agora eu vou, quando às vezes entrar trabalhando com o coautor por Skype, Aí, no meio tempo, eu fico fazendo desenho do coautor, assim, né? Vejo na, na tela, porque ajuda a ficar plano. Mas, normalmente, eu não mostro. E eu não mostro, só botei um aí. Então, isso aí eu estava trabalhando com o Jacó, e eu estava em Trieste, ele estava aqui, a gente estava trabalhando pelo Skype, aí eu desenhei. Tá. Isso aí, na verdade, é um pedaço de um artigo que a gente estava trabalhando. Aqui. Isso aqui é em Seul, aqui é Paulo. É... A Sul, e Jacó aí... Novamente, sempre sorrindo, feliz aí. E tomando um vinho aqui também, todo mundo fica feliz com... Isso, isso aqui é no, na Gávea, a, que a gente está trabalhando aqui no IMPA. Isso aqui é já colar em São Paulo, quando ele foi receber esse, esse prêmio lá. E, bom, isso aqui foi nos... 75 anos do Jacó. Engraçado que era São João, porque estava todo mundo vestido bem junino aí. É, não, então, é isso, eu, eu, a pergunta é, por, né, tá cheio de, eu, depois eu vi essa foto, eu disse, cheio de coisa, não, a, a Catherine está super colorida, você também está colorido, Jacó, ah, tudo bem. É a mesma camisa. Bom, o Wellington está sério, o Wellington está sério. É... Bom, isso aqui, é, Jacó me visitou agora, em, em, foi muito bacana, ele foi lá na Bahia, em Salvador, e aí a gente estava conversando sobre matemática lá, e ele estava contente, foi muito bacana ter a presença dele em, no final agora de, de janeiro lá. Então, obrigado novamente, Jacó.